What is going on, I have Warriors? So we have a short video here, two minutes and 38 seconds, of a doctor. Uh, I guess he's going to say his name. Uh, oh, here we go. Dr. Kevin Gun Gun Gundro. Um, and how he lost 125 pounds using the 16-8 method. And for today, we're going to go to our home base, which is YouTube, uh, to take a look at this. All right. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and uh, click play to watch. Hi, my name is Dr. Kevin Gendro, and this is the story of how I lost 125 pounds with intermittent fasting and a whole food diet. I'm a 30-year-old primary care physician. Whoa, wow. Five feet, nine inches, that's my height. Oh. Five, Kevin weighed 300 pounds, okay, okay. He had high blood pressure and cholesterol diabetes, which all comes with weight gain. They're, they're, they see this correlation with all of those different things, you know, type 2 diabetes, even sleep apnea. A lot of that stuff is tied to obesity. There's a lot of health issues that come with obesity. Now, it isn't to say that just being overweight creates that, but it's being overweight and not being active. Because as we've seen with like studies done with sumo wrestlers, you can be overweight and still have uh, be somewhat metabolically healthy. However, that's simply because when you're super active, when you're like super active, the way sumo wrestlers train all the time and, and their comp competition, you actually reduce your visceral fat, so the internal fat, which is the fat that's actually important in terms of creating all of these health issues. Uh, the visceral fat is the most important thing. But in the real world, how likely is it that you're going to be super highly active to the point where you're completely uh, removing all of your visceral fat, but you're you're overeating so much that you're overcoming the caloric deficit, even though you have massive um, activity, cardio activity per day, weight training and cardio activity is it, going to be very like it, that's almost like a paradox of 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 a lifestyle. Uh, you have to overeat aggressively and then still have the motivation to be doing aggressive cardio. I can't see that in, in I can't see that world existing for most people. Um, that's why sumo wrestlers are a unique bunch where they barely have any visceral fat. They're actually metabolically healthy. When they become metabolically unhealthy, is that their visceral fat gets filled in quickly once they retire. So they, they end up having, and then they can't change the lifestyles. It's very sad in the post uh, career, but during the career, because of the way they're so active, they actually are metabolically healthy. But th that's the important thing. Those things are tied to obesity. And usually it's because of the visceral fat. So he wasn't happy with it. Decided to make some changes. So there were three major components to how I lost all the weight. The first was finding the right motivation. If you can't come up with a good enough reason to make a major life change like this, it'll be impossible for you to commit. The second and third piece. I agree with that. You have to sometimes you have to have a north star, so that you can say, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm not gonna stop, because that's my north star. For some people, it could be a va vanity reason, like oh, you know, the summer's coming up and. And uh, yeah, I got to look good for the beach or I'm going to this event. Use those things as a fuel to get that ball rolling and then get that snowball effect and just you know, go all the way with it. And then be, you know, uh, be tough and, and, and find a thing that could keep you that could sustain that weight loss. Pieces of the puzzle were intermittent fasting and a whole food diet with no processed carbohydrates. It was when my sister was diagnosed with an aggressive, rare form of cancer that I, di that I decided to change my life. So he, he doesn't eat processed carbs, like bread. Once I made the black and white decision to stop being unhealthy, everything else just fell into place. I first started losing weight by calorie counting with MyFitnessPal. It's an app for iPhone and Android that basically allows you to calculate how many calories you can consume per day in order to lose one or two pounds per week. 
Now keep in mind, he's a doctor. This is why I tell people. People think that doctors automatically just know about nutrition. They don't. Like, listen to how he he's talking about how he's using my fitness pal. How to him it, it helped him understand like how much calories he needs to eat. They really don't know, guys. Like doctors, like medical doctors, their entire curriculum is medicine. Like that's what they're they're good at giving you something after you have it. They're not really good at telling you how to not get the thing in terms of your diet and nutrition. They'll just be like, oh, eat, alcohol, eat healthy or whatever. They'll say the, the things that are already in the ether. So you have to be careful when you just you see a doctor on 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 YouTube saying something just because he's a doctor means that he's going to know when in reality, that's not necessarily the case. It doesn't mean that it isn't the case, but it also doesn't mean that it is the case. Because if it is the case, they would have had to done all that stuff on their own. It didn't come from from their curriculum. They would have to like just like me and you could just go out. They would have to go out, look at research, look at different things to really understand the biology, really understand all that stuff. They would have to do that on their own. Like that would just have to be the side hobby to figure that stuff out. They're not going to just intuitively know it. And they don't learn learn it through their curriculum. Ah, so he hit he hit he ate healthy, hit a wall hit a stall and didn't give up at that stall point he implements the intermittent fasting and it looks like it helped push him through 16 good you want to build muscle you want to build muscle that's important Every time I went down a shirt size or a pant size, it was a huge motivating factor for me. There's nothing better than donating trash bags full of your old clothes. Always look forward towards your next goal and never look back. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I like it. I like it. Uh, I like what a lot of the, the stuff that comes from this video, understanding the, the that doctors are people just like me, me and you. You know, doctors don't don't be knowing the answers to these things when it comes to diet and nutrition. But they still, if they if they've gained weight, they still want to lose weight, just like you know um, everybody else. So uh, it's cool. He hit a stall. U sixteen eight. It worked for him. Total, he had lost one hundred and twenty five pounds. I don't know where he is now. I hope everything is good with him. Uh, it's been four years since, but. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace out, guys.